G'day Dogs fans, Bob Murphy here with assistant coach Stephen Grace for the round seven match preview. Gracie, how are you mate? Very good Bob, thanks for having me. Nice to see you, we're, we're back for round two for, for, our, for our go this year. So it's frightening. It is frightening, so we're going to rattle through um, we're going to rattle through a few things before we before we get to the Tigers. Sure. What about the areas from improvement from the weekend? So disappointing loss to Freo, but we had a good look at them, didn't we? Yeah, we certainly did, and we, we hung in there for a long period of time. Uh, uh, just some crucial errors at, at uh, periods of time where they fed off and got some energy. You know, Dave Mundy's round of the game, uh, the, you know, their big Anzac Day. So we, we just didn't need to give them a look at crucial times where they fed off in the last quarter. How big was the momentum shift when Dave Mundy kicked that goal? In the, in the last quarter. Yeah, it was incredible because he, he'd he been serviceful, Dave, you know, yeah. before then, and he had a couple of big moments in that last quarter and uh, you could feel the energy um, and then uh, be able to feast off it. Yeah. What, what about uh, off the field? We've hit 40,000 members. It's a fair achievement for, for this early in the year. Yeah, it's impressive. It's impressive and it just shows that the growth um, in the club and the support that the players have uh, and that, you know, that we are a big club. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to mean numbers every week, but uh, 40,000 is impressive. Now this is, in, in, you've got an appreciation for this is my favourite favourite part of the week. This is where we get to the Mercedes-Benz X-Class keys to the game. Now, if we can just sort of eyeball each other, I, I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 100. We did this before with 1 and 10, but this is a number between 1 and 100. Mm. What do you got? 63. <laughs> I don't know if that comes up on the screen, but wow! wow. Oof, there you go. Wow. Another happy. Thank you, my friend. Mercedes Thank for you. you. Well, we'll get straight into it. Uh, Tom Lynch is the is the danger up forward, obviously, without Rewalt there. What can you tell us about the preparation for Big Tom? Yeah, it looks like he's settled uh, in at the Tigers now. Top three in the Coleman and uh, starting to find his uh, his match fitness. You know, I, I think that um, you know there's some positive signs uh, from the brick last yep. week. Jackson uh, Tringo, yeah, the brick. Yeah, uh, there was uh, some positive signs from him. Um, and I think Zane Cordy you know, is improving every week as well. Um, you know, and I think if we can find that aggressive edge um, and uh, upset things a little bit down there, it'll, um, it'll help us. So he is the, the main man down there, of yeah. course, with, with Jack Rewald out with that, with that knee injury. But there are quite a few outs. So Rance is out, we know that. Cochin re-injuring the hamstring. Asprey... Looks like he's going to miss. Will that have much influence on the game, or we just you just can't worry too much about that? Well, Rewalt's a, a quality player, but we know that when Rewalt doesn't play or doesn't play well, is it caddy bobs up? Yeah, a uh, very competent player. Yeah. Um, and, and loves a goal. So, um, in their system, you know that surge type of football, uh, they seem to be uh, next one up philosophy. And uh, got another young mid, Jack Ross, who's come yep. in. Can um, play. Be hungry yeah. to have his place. Uh, Higgins will get more midfield time. Miss Cotchin's not there as well. So. Um, you know, they'll be keen to stamp themselves on it. Still a formidable opponent, yeah, the Tigers. So. What, what about the last time the Dogs and the Tigers met? It was late last year, Tigers prep, you know, preparing for finals, but we had a pretty good day that day. Yeah, we did. We, we did. Had um, a good look at them. Yeah, we don't like to use the word unlucky, but we hit the post a few times in the yeah. last quarter. Uh, Lynchy's uh, almost, you know, hit the post yeah. late. Uh, the great ghost nearly got us over the line. <laughs> um, but um, I, I think that if we control the tempo of the game a little bit, uh, like we did last time, um, don't allow them to win as much contest uh, and be able to go back at them. Uh, we've got a long way for us to um, you know, hang in the game for as long as we can. And last one, what about, what about Dale Morris? Some positive news there with, with his recovery. We see him taking a, a bit of a jog there. How much do we put it down to the sheer will of the man and how much do we put it down to the homemade broth? <laughs> the homemade broth is just legendary on <laughs> yes. the sponsorship the, deal. The, myst <laughs> the mystique and myth, the mythology around Dale yeah. Morris oh, just grows. I think grows. him and his, uh, <laughs> his franchising abilities later in life. No, he's, um, even we just had a meeting then, uh, Bob, and his, his voice uh, being able to act like a rudder uh, yeah. for the players and being able to Im impose his... Um, not just his knowledge, but um, I, I suppose it's his longevity in the game and his resilience on the group with what he says. And that's yeah. important to us. Uh, Gracie, mate, thanks for the insight. Thanks for stopping by. Always insightful to, to chat to you. And Dogs fans, get down to Marvel Stadium at 7.20 on Saturday night to see the Dogs get a win on the board against the Tigers.